hi welcome to today's video so today's video is basically like a k-beauty haul slash review style video i basically have a bunch of products which i haven't really spoken about much on my channel um, because i've been on and off here quite a bit and these are products some of them like for example this bb cream are things that i ba actually bought back in the summer but yeah i just have to talk about them because it's absolutely fantastic um so yeah let's get into it so the first product i want to talk about is this bb cream from the brand hamish um and this one is called the bb moringa ceramide tinted moisturizer makeup plus sunscreen it has uva as well as uvb protection it has an spf of 30 and this particular product i think it came into the market in the summer and I saw a lot of people talking about this on YouTube and that's basically how I found out about it. I eventually picked this up from Amazon. The brand Hamish does have like a storefront on Amazon. So that's where I picked this product up from. And that time I think they, they were running like a major 50% off sale. So I got this like for $10 or so. And for that price, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, this particular BB cream, it comes I think in like four or five shades, which is quite impressive because quite a few of the K-Beauty products, I mean K-Beauty base products generally come in like three or four shades maximum, especially like BB creams, they sometimes come in just like two shades. So this is quite good in that sense. Um, they do have a shade I think darker than this. I have it in the shade 25N medium and they have like I think two shades lighter than this one. So I think two shades darker, two shades lighter. So probably somewhere around like five or six different shades in this. And that's pretty good. And because it's a BB cream and the coverage is quite light, I think each shade you can sort of work it around a few different skin tones. And this particular one, the undertone is also right. Um, I think the lighter shades have got a very strong peachy um, or I think rosy undertone and this one is kind of more of a neutral undertone so it ca I can still make it work um, so yeah and I think the tan shades do look a little bit more golden than this one so yeah finding your shade might be a little bit tricky as it is with most K-Beauty skin products um, you know foundation or base products but overall I actually am pretty impressed with how I was able to find a pretty decent match for myself in this range and also I really enjoy the fact that the sunscreen in here is actually a physical sunscreen. I'm kind of sensitive to chemical sunscreens. So therefore I was very happy that this was a physical one. Most BB creams do generally tend to have chemical sunscreens in them. Um, and this one also is pretty much unscented. I do not get any scent in this product. So I kind of like that as well. Um, and what else? I kind of just swatched it sometime back on my hand. So yeah, it does not have a scent. And this one, like I said, it feels really lightweight on the skin. Being a BB cream, it also is not very drying. And I also like it because in the summer months, I like to have very thin layers on my face. I do not like to have, um, you know, thick feeling products. And this one fits the bill that way. And because it has SPF 30, it's actually pretty good to use like, you know, on things when you're like running errands or something not like on the beach but you know if you're running errands and you're just basically going from building to building or something then you know this is a pretty good sunscreen plus makeup-y product to wear um, in the summer months and that's exactly what I did the whole month of I think I think I got this sometime around like June July and you know from then onwards I think all the way till October I was very strongly very happily use not strongly i was very happily using this product on pretty much a regular basis so i've kind of worked my way through quite a bit of this product and i like the fact that it comes with a pump as well so it's pretty easy to apply not very messy i like to use a brush to apply this particular product you could use your hands because it is very much like a moisturizer type feeling product so yeah so you can use it either way i've not tried this with a sponge but i believe it might be a bit too thick to kind of use with a sponge so yeah um because of that creamy bb cream texture so yeah overall i really like it and um yeah and i highly recommend this particular product and i'm actually probably going to start using this again come april may because right now it's still cold and therefore i'm enjoying some of the other foundations in my collection but otherwise i've been very consistently using this one so yeah that's approved by me i really enjoy this one now the next one is actually a blush and this is actually a limited edition 
uh, blush packaging that came out with uh, the brand by the brand 3CE. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please let me know if I'm saying this wrong. And this is kind of a collaboration with the brand called Toilet Paper. Now, I don't know much about that brand either. And this is the outer packaging of the blush. So this is the box and this is the actual blush compact. I kept the box because it's pretty cute. <laughs> and this is actually from YesStyle. I think I picked, yeah, I think most of the next bunch of products that I'm gonna be talking about are all from YesStyle. So yeah, this was the only product I picked up from Amazon. So this one uh, is a blush. I believe this is a permanent uh, blush color in limited edition packaging. I think so because I think I've seen this shade um, in their regular line as well. So I have this in the shade called Fig Dive. And if you look at this right now here in the pan, it looks very, I don't know, boring. It kind of looks like your a very neutral, nothing exciting about this blush. You know, at least that's how I felt when I first opened this up and saw the color. I was like, okay, it looks like a normal dusty pink blush. But on the face, it looks really beautiful. It's a very beautiful, neutral looking blush, which kind of goes with anything and everything. So it's kind of like that everyday blush you can just throw on your face without really overthinking, you know, as to whether it clashes with anything else or going on in your face. So I really like that about it. And the formula is very, very nice. It does, I mean, it does kick up a little bit of powder when you go in with your brush. Uh, but once it's on your face, it basically just kind of melts in with your skin and it stays put throughout the day. And it's pretty pigmented. Pigmented in the sense that you can actually add this in layers and I really like that so you don't have to worry about like picking up too much on your brush and then you know looking like clown cheeks you can very easily build it up and it kind of as you can basically buff it in it just gets into your skin and looks nice and you know melted and one with your skin so it basically looks very very natural and I really like that about it. And I've heard good things about the brand 3C in general with respect to their blushes as well as their eyeshadows. So I think I can I kind of understand the hype with the blush because I really like the formula and also this particular shade, which I think was the darkest shade in this particular limited edition collaboration that they had. They have two other blush shades and I think they're currently on sale at YesStyle for like some 12 bucks or so. So it's actually a very good time to try these out if you're looking to try, um, you know, a Korean blush uh, from the brand, from this brand. Um, and I also like this packaging. So the, 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 the other two um, blushes in this limited edition range do have different prints on here. So yeah, I think the other two are slightly lighter than this, which is basically why I went for this. I mean, at least from the pictures, this looked like the darkest shade, which might potentially work for me. And I'm very happy that I picked this up because it does work for me and it looks very, very nice. So yeah, so I highly, highly recommend this particular blush from 3CE. And in case you cannot find the limited edition packaging, I think, you know, the formula is the same even in the normal blush uh, thing. At least that's what I saw in the reviews where they said the formula is the same. So, yeah. So if you want the limited edition packaging, it is still available. And of course, I highly approve the formula of this particular blush. So, yeah. So I'm very happy with this particular purchase. Now, the next product is actually a mascara. And this is also from the brand Hamish. This one is... Um, I think it's called some smudge proof. I don't have the outer box. There isn't much written on this, um, but it's actually a very popular mascara. I've heard a lot of people talking about it. It is actually a tubing formula, so therefore it's very easy to remove at the end of the day. I really enjoy using this because it really does come off really easily. Just with warm water, you can kind of, you know, remove most of it away. I do use an oil cleanser even with this, but yeah, you can, I think, easily take it off even with just water because I've tried that as well and it works well. Um, in terms of the actual performance, um, I like how lengthening it is. It does not give much of a volume. Um, but yeah, I think this is advertised more as a lengthening mascara anyway. So that way I like how lengthening it is. But again, um, I do notice that my lashes do not really hold a curl with this one. Um, they do tend to droop a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if it's with the weight of the mascara on. So 
yeah so it, for me it looks good for a certain short period of time after which it can start looking like my lashes are kind of droopy um so yeah so it's okay i might not potentially repurchase this i might just try something else because you know there's just so many mascaras on the market but yeah if you are looking for a lengthening mascara and also a tubing formula i think this might be worth giving it a shot because everybody's lashes are different maybe your lashes might be able to hold the curl even with this one so yeah so overall i'm actually liking it so this is what the brush of this mascara looks like it's got a curvy um curvy end so it's it kind of is easy to go in to your lashes here with this so it's the size and everything else is fine with it but then again like i said it just kind of weighs down my lashes and the formula is kind of like um, a thick formula it's not a very watery formula so you can get uh, slightly clumpy lashes if you go over your lashes too many times so yeah in general it's okay i will probably finish using this and then maybe just move on to something else and keep looking for a, you know a sort of like a holy grail mascara i still haven't found one so <laughs> So let's see. So this was the mascara that I did pick up from YesStyle. Now, now I have like three lip products um, and I did talk about these three actually in another video where I talked about all the K-Beauty lip products that I tried recently. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch that video, I can link it somewhere here. So anyway, because this was part of that haul, I thought I would just include these products as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is this lip pencil. This is the Silky Lasting Lip Pencil from the brand Misha. And this is actually a very inexpensive lip pencil. I think like three bucks or two bucks or something. And for that price, it's really nice. It's a very creamy lip pencil and it's also like a twist up. So I really like that. So you don't have to worry about sharpening it. Um, so this is the shade that I have. I don't think it has a shade name. No, I don't see a shade name, but this is a very beautiful color and I basically like to use this almost like a, a lipstick where I kind of fill my full lip with this one and then go on top with a gloss. So I love her. I love to use it that way. Um, I have not really used it as like a lip outline kind of a thing. So I'm not sure how it works for that. But yeah, as like filling in your lips, it's perfect. It does not dry out my lips. It's kind of just about creamy that you know it doesn't feel like you're rubbing hard pencil on your lips it's pretty like it's pretty emollient enough to kind of you know go smoothly over your lips so yeah so that way i really like this one and i like the shade as well they do come in a bunch of shades but most of them are like more brown red or red type of shades and like i said it's very inexpensive and i'm really happy that it's a twist up so so this is another product that i'm pretty happy with now the other two lip products are actually some of my favorite lip products that I've tried recently. So the first one is this one from Wake Make and this is the Watery Talk Wake Make Vitamin Watery Talk Tinted Lip Balm. And this one I have this in the shade 02 Glowing Red. And this one is kind of like a lip balm but it is pretty pigmented for a lip balm. So I kind of like it more as like a sheer lipstick and it works really beautifully. It kind of stains your lips so it's it's cool that way like you don't have to keep reapplying um and i also like this particular shade it's a pretty nice bright orange red type of shade um and as a lip balm per se i do find this to be okay it's not overly moisturizing at least not in the dry weather that i'm currently at um, but i did take this on holiday with me um, to a tropical area and there of course it was perfect as a lip balm it did not really you know feel like it's not enough but here in dry weather i think i need something a little bit more um, nourishing for my lips um yeah so here i kind of like it as more of a sheer lipstick um versus an actual lip balm but yeah but either ways i really like how comfortable it is it is very very lightweight on the lips it also kind of gives enough of a glossiness and also kind of has that you know pigment so you don't really have to keep reapplying it all the time this one does have a bit of a scent it has a i think it's more like a fruity scent something about it reminds me of these fruit hard candies fruit flavored hard candies that you get so yeah so it has a pretty fruity scent which is not overly um bad it's it's just there and it, you don't you barely kind of you know 
taste it or smell it once it's on your lips but yeah if you actually take it off like if you smell it off the tube yeah you can scent you can get the scent so yeah so this particular formula i really like i really enjoy and um yeah it's one of my favorite lip products lip discoveries <laughs> in recent times so yeah so this one is in the shade 02 now the other one is actually from the brand romand and this is their i think this is called their zero matte lipstick they do have it in several different styles i think they have zero matte velvet they have zero matte uh shine or some i don't know they have like a different each each one the tubes are like a little different in terms of shades so mine is in this type of a gray tube and i like i really like the packaging in fact i like the packaging of this one as well they i mean they're pretty well packaged for like drugstore price um and this one too it feels pretty much like nars packaging it has like that nars rubbery texture on the outer part and I absolutely love the shade. I have this in the shade 04 and I think it's something sunset. I don't remember. It's a very nice warm pink and this one is extremely lightweight on the lips. It, you, you really don't feel like you're wearing anything and also, you know, despite being a matte lipstick, the formula is really great for my dry lips. I find that this kind of has a bit of a blurry effect. Um, you cannot see the lip lines once, you know, I, once I wear this, I cannot see the lip lines so much. It kind of fills it in a bit. So I like that about it. Also, it's very lightweight and I also do not find it to be drying. So overall, it works really beautifully. And it also stays put for a really long time being a matte formula. And it also wears off in a more, what do you say, in a more even fashion. So you don't have to worry about it looking patchy at the end of the day. Um, and so yeah, I generally really like the formula. So I'm actually excited to try more lip products from all of these brands like basically Wake Make as well as you know Romand and also some of the other brands that I've tried recently. So yeah, so I think they have very interesting lip products in general. So this particular one was also something that I really enjoyed using and I'm glad I have it in my collection. So. So that's it so that's today's video i'm actually recovering from a cold i'm recovering from a lot of things which is basically why i was missing for a while so i hope to be back again some next time next week hopefully um so till then bye